Hello. Welcome to this very small recording of how to do empathy for non-specific shame. So these are the kind of moments where you wake up and you you realize that for some reason you just feel awful about yourself. And you don't even know where to start to find an observation. You have no idea what happened that left you experiencing shame. <sighs> so if this is something that ever happens to you, here's a possible way to do self-empathy. And remember that important combination of warmth and precision, because if you just tell yourself everything's going to be okay, or you know you're a good person, or snap out of it, none of that's really going to help. You may find ways to shift off and do something distracting or find some distracting substance, but or compulsively play the video game of naming the African countries, and gradually over... 17 days, getting up to 80%. Um, so if this ever happens to you, that you discover yourself in a non-specific shame state, here's what I'm going to offer. Take one of the cells that you can feel that's experiencing the non-specific shame. It makes it much easier if it's just one cell instead of all of the billions of cells that make up your body and see what kind of empathy guesses might land for that shame to a cell. The tiny cell of Sarah that is carrying on specific shame. Would you like some acknowledgement that you've never felt like you could do anything right? Hmm. Would you like some acknowledgement that you actually weren't right for the way that your mother or father wanted you to be, in this case, my mother. She didn't enjoy my body in particular. Um, I think she liked me well enough, but she had a really hard time with my body. So, Sal, would you like some acknowledgement that it's difficult to find a sense of place if you haven't truly been welcomed. Little cell, would you love it if there was a Sarah space? Would you love it if you got into that space and it just felt just right and there was just enough room for you and it was snug and it was sweet and you could breathe easily and contribute and be present and do everything that you want to do. And then you check and you see, how did that empathy land for this cell? And in this case, there's like a little bit of lightning through here, but the, um, there's a nausea in my head. So I'll just pretend that my body is the cell's body. That the cell has nausea in its head. Little cell of Sarah. You need acknowledgement that it feels sickening when you haven't experienced a strong welcome. That lets me take a deep breath. My shoulders are relaxing a little bit. Would you like some acknowledgement? Um, it also is bringing tears to my eyes. Would you like some acknowledgement that being known and wanted known and wanted, or having someone be willing and curious about getting to know you would feel good. Do you need an acknowledgement of loneliness? Another breath. Is it exhausting? to battle against a sense of not being welcome. Is it, is it like continually pushing against a stream of molasses? Mm. Everything's all sticky, thick, 
Miss Viscous is hard to get through. I can I can see on my face a little bit of disgust with the slimy viscousness of molasses, I guess, but also I think also with the experience somehow, the internalized experience of not being welcome. Hmm. Sarah, do you need acknowledgement? that when you are so lonely, you might even split apart and feel disgust for the little one who even wants to be welcome. Mm. 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 There's an easing in the way my breath moves forward in my chest. But there's also a and, and the, the, there's a kind of a stripe here that's no longer feeling the nausea, but there's still nausea in my temples. So I'll close my eyes for a moment and check in with the nausea in my temples. Nausea in Sarah's temples. Uh, if it, if it, it feels a bit like they've been battered. I'm, I'm thinking about the sharp and sudden experience if you hit your head on a wall or something, if you hit your head. I'm thinking about that shock and sharp, sharp, sharp to numbness, horrifying and scary pain where you're afraid that there's some kind of damage. And so I'm wondering, Sarah, if there is a need for acknowledgement of the shock of people's cruelty Oh, that's a very nice guess. And the shock of their sudden expressions of discontent. And the shock about blame, about receiving blame. Mm, and as I say that, there's like a little bit of warmness, like almost like blood flow coming back to this area. Mm. Take a little longer than usual. Such a big issue. I'm going to leave it there for today. Because it feels like this needs some time to cook. And I'm just sending anybody else who's had an experience of non-specific shame a ton of love and care and shared reality. Mm. And maybe you'll send me some empathy guesses back for yourself, things that you discovered as you go on this journey. Mm.